is the best entity for investing in UAE real estate. That's what we're going to be talking about today in our latest video. My name is Jimmy Sexton, LLM. I am the founder and CEO of Esquire Group and will be your presenter today. If you like the content we're putting out, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're really trying to up our content game and create some really valuable content for you guys. And if you're enjoying it, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Every new subscriber is greatly appreciated. Before we get into the material, a little disclaimer. This presentation is prepared for education purposes only. This presentation is not legal, tax, or any other type of advice. Each individual circumstances are different. You should seek legal and or tax advice to address any specific questions you may have. So there's essentially three different options for investing in real estate here in Dubai or, or, or most places in, in the UAE. And that is through direct investment. So basically you buy the property in your name. Option two is through a company. Uh, so you incorporate a company, that company owns the property, you own the shares of the company. Option three is investing through a foundation. And I'm not talking about like the charitable type of foundation, like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I'm talking about a civil law statutory foundation. If you don't know what that is and you like some more information, check out our introduction to foundations video. We'll put a link up in the description so you can learn a little bit more foundation about foundations. Foundations essentially function very much like trusts. That's generally the preferred method for investing in UAE real estate for several reasons, which we will get to because we're going to go through the advantages and disadvantages of each of these investing options. So option one is direct investment. The advantages are few, but there are some. Uh, the main advantages are that it's very simple, right? You don't need to incorporate a, an entity such as a company or a foundation. You don't have to administer that foundation and do you know, board of directors meetings and all that kind of stuff. So it's very simple, right? It's also very cost effective because you don't have to set up and administer a separate legal entity. This last point is going to be an advantage on all of these investment options. And that is that the UAE does not have any income or estate taxes. Now, if you don't live in the UAE, depending on which country you're a resident and a citizen, the rental income or capital gains could be subject to tax in your home country, could also be subject to estate tax in your home country, but the UAE itself is not going to levy any income or estate taxes on the property or the income that it generates. So the disadvantage to direct investment is you don't have any asset protection, right? If you get sued for some reason by a tenant or you tried to sell it and the sale went bad or something, you have no asset protection when you own it in your own name, you have basically unlimited liability. You also don't get any privacy protection because the property is in your name. Whereas if you have own it through a company or a foundation, the property is in the name of that foundation or company. The, one of the other issues, which is kind of more of a practical issue is you don't have any local management, right? So that means you have to sign all the contracts for rental agreements for purchase or sale agreements. You have to sign all of those in your own name, which usually is going to require you to be here in the UAE or to go through a lengthy legalization process in order to sign those documents from abroad. Whereas if you have a company, a foreign foundation, you can appoint a local director or counselor as the case may be, depending on whether it's a corporate or a company or a foundation, and then they can sign documents here locally. You also have potential Sharia estate distribution issues. So the UAE is essentially a, a, a based on Sharia law and under Sharia law, an estate is divided up into shares and then those shares are distributed amongst family members and it, it's, it's predefined how this happens. So it's essentially a forced airship regime. Now, if you own the property in your name, you do run the risk that potentially if they don't recognize your foreign will, for example, that the property will be divided up in accordance with the Sharia rules rather than your will back home or the rules back home. So that is something you want to be mindful of. The UAE has been very proactive about trying to resolve this issue by recognizing foreign wills and stuff like this. But the potential is still there. So that is something that you do want to be careful of. That's why I have it listed as a disadvantage for direct investment on this slide. 
And again, likely the rental income capital gain will be subject to income tax in your country of residence and the property itself subject to estate tax in your country of residence if it has estate tax and if you die owning the property. So investing through a UAE, UAE company is a bit better. So some of the advantages, you have asset protection because you're gonna have a company owning the property and you own those shares. So the, your worst case scenario, you would lose the property, but all the rest of your assets are protected because you have that company shield between you and the claimant because it owns the property. You also have some privacy because in the UAE, we have private beneficial owner registers. So it's not public information who owns a company or who the directors of a company are. So you can keep your identity private, which is sometimes be beneficial for asset protection reasons, but also just so people don't know everything you, you own. I mean, there's no reason why people need to go in and Google and find out, okay, he owns this, this property. Also, like I said, with a company, you can have local management because you can appoint a local UAE resident director to the company and then they can sign lease agreements, purchase and sale contracts or whatever else needs to be done for that property because they're a director on the company. Again, like I said before, there's not gonna be any UK income tax on the rental income or capital gain to the company from the real estate or on the shares of the company and there's no UAE uh, estate tax on your shares. The dividends from the company will generally be subject to income tax in your country of residence, as well as a state tax if your country has an estate tax. I have that listed as a disadvantage. The reason I listed the dividends generally subject to income tax as an advantage is because you can control the flow of dividends, right? Normally you wouldn't pay tax on a dividend until you actually receive it. That isn't true in all countries, but in most countries that is the case. So you can kind of control when your income from the company is going to be taxed by controlling when you distribute dividends to yourself. So the disadvantages of investing in UAE real estate through a company are it's more complex, right? You need to set up a company, you need to administer that company properly, and that is going to add a layer of complexity to the investment. It's also more costly because you have to set up and maintain the company. And if you do have local directors dealing with things for you, that they're also going to need to be paid, which is an additional cost. If you own the shares in your own name, you also run the same risk that those shares may be distributed according to Sharia law. Again, that's not a guarantee. The UAE has been really proactive in trying to solve this problem and recognizing foreign wills, but it is something to be mindful of that it, it, it still is a potential issue that the shares of the company could be subject to Sharia law estate distribution. The value of the shares will generally be subject to estate tax in your country of residence if it does in fact have an estate tax. There can also be some challenges in your home country through owning a foreign corporation. For example, many countries view residents who own foreign companies, they classify those companies as controlled foreign corporations and they're subject to some pretty nasty tax laws in some parts of the world, the U.S. being one of those. There are ways around it in the U.S. by doing what's called an entity classification election, but that's beyond the scope of this video. The point being, you do need to be mindful if you're setting up a company of the tax rules of your home jurisdiction because it could create some complications for you. Finally, and this is the preferred method, in my opinion, for owning real estate in the UAE, and this is investing through a foundation. And the reason I like investing through a foundation is it gives you all of the advantage of investing through a company. So you get the asset protection, you get the privacy, you have the ability to have local management, but you also avoid the sh Sharia distribution potential when it comes to estate distributions because the foundation never dies, right? It's like a company and the distribution provisions, how you want it distributed, right? Do you want it distributed to who do you want the, the asset distributed upon your death or do you want it distributed at all? Maybe you set up a multi-generational foundation that will benefit generations to come. The point being by investing through a foundation, you avoid this potential Sharia estate distribution. 
distribution from the foundations from the foundation, much like dividends from a company, will likely be taxable in your home jurisdiction. But like with dividends, you control the timing of the distributions, which means you can control when you're paying tax on those distributions. Foundation assets generally are not subject to estate tax in the country where you live because you don't own the foundation. It's an orphan entity and it owns the real estate. And when you die, nothing happens to the foundation. And also like no UAE income or estate tax, just like with the other two investing options. So the advantages of investing through a foundation are all the advantages of a company, but you also get this Sharia estate distribution protection and potential estate tax protection in your home jurisdiction. The disadvantages are obviously, it's more complex because you have to set it up. It's more costly because you have to maintain it on an ongoing basis. And it can also create tax challenges in your home jurisdiction, depending on how they view foundations from a tax perspective. So that's always something that you need to look at. Now, one of the issues with any of these structures, especially the, the company structure, or the foundation structure, is if you buy multiple properties, right? What happens if you buy multiple properties? If you set up a foundation and you put multiple properties in it, you're potentially endangering your asset protection because let's say you have a foundation that owns three properties and liability arises as to one property. Who's going to get sued? The foundation as the owner of that property. But the foundation also owns two other properties, meaning that if you lose the lawsuit as to the one property where the liability arose, you could also lose the other two properties because they are also owned by the foundation. So usually when people want to invest in multiple properties, we use a layered foundation company structure. So we set up a foundation and then the foundation sets up a UAE company, a separate UAE company for each piece of real estate. So then you wind up with a foundation with a company for property A, a company for property B and a company for property C. And the advantage is that the liability then gets siloed for each property within each company. And so you get all the advantages of the company and the foundation because the shares of the companies are owned by the foundation, which is giving you all that protection against the Sharia state distribution and, and the estate tax at home. So that's also a really good structure for investing in multiple properties and getting all of the benefits of the foundation and increasing your asset protection by having these multiple properties each owned by a separate company. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Contact numbers are up on the screen. You can also visit us on the web at esquiregroup.com or shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com. And again, if you like the content we're putting out, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll really appreciate it. Thank you so much.